Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and it's Monday, March 13th. The Tesla Model S Plaid is finally delivering on the original promise to achieve a 200 mile per hour top speed, and they're going to do so with ceramic brakes. When Tesla first announced the Plaid version of the flagship electric vehicle, they did promise a 200 mile per hour top speed. However, the first deliveries only featured 163 miles per hour. Not nearly enough, it seems. Last year, they released a new track mode that pushed it to 175, but it seems that Tesla didn't want to unlock higher top speeds without the car having bigger and better brakes to slow it down. Last summer, we actually reported on a Tesla Model S Plaid that broke the 200 mile per hour limit when it was hacked by the owner. But Tesla is likely going to install its own brake upgrade as Sebastian Vittel, a race car driver that has often collaborated with Tesla, released a video in partnership with Tesla Belgium where he was loaned a Model S Plaid with the ceramic brake upgrade. Hopefully with the 200 mile per hour top speed, I can be on time for my appointment for additional life coverage insurance. Tesla has significantly ramped up its hiring effort for the Cybertruck production, which is just a few months away. Tesla just posted seven new jobs related to the paint shop and four jobs related to casting and stamping. The automaker also posted a multitude of new production manager and supervisor positions related to Cybertruck production units. This ramp up in hiring comes as Tesla already confirmed being in the middle of deploying the production line at Gigafactory, Texas. Tesla recently said that it aims to bring the truck to production this summer, but we shouldn't expect significant deliveries until 2024 after they've ramped up to volume production. Volkswagen has officially selected St. Thomas, Ontario as the new home of its first North American EV battery cell plant. Shortly after the Inflation Reduction Act was passed in the U.S. last August, Volkswagen was among several global automakers looking to build and assemble EVs in the U.S. to take advantage of those sweet tax credit monies. The company said that it would begin accelerating manufacturing of its power co-business in the U.S. with reliable and sustainable supply chains. Volkswagen established PowerCo as a 100% owned subsidiary in July of 22 to handle the automaker's battery operations. PowerCo, through Volkswagen of course, plans to open six EV battery cell plants with 240 gigawatt hours of combined capacity and their deadline is the year 2030. The company says that the factory will equip Volkswagen Group with substantial unified cells that will begin production in 2027. The selection comes shortly after Volkswagen also selected South Carolina to build its Scout brand of EVs. Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella said its partnership with OpenAI will advance cutting-edge AI research and democratize AI as a new technology platform while opening it up to new experiences. Why are we talking about this? Because according to a new report from Semaphore, the technology will be in the upcoming General Motors electric vehicles. People familiar with the product claim that General Motors is developing a virtual personal assistant using AI models behind ChatGPT chatbot. Most cars on the road today have a simple voice command for features that many describe as a parlor trick. But hopefully General Motors can make something more of it. They do have an advantage with promising AI technology as they have worked with Microsoft on digital technology for GM Cruise for several years now. Lexus has begun accepting orders for its first fully electric vehicle, the RZ450e, which is an upscaled luxury version of the Toyota BZ4X. After the Subaru Solterra was released as an off-road version of the Toyota BZ4X, some industry watchers, including at Electrek, are wondering what the Lexus will amount to. Well, Lexus has assured the EV community that it will be differentiated with an innovative design inside and out and signature Lexus driving experiences. The RZ450e exterior looks similar to the BZ4X, but it does incorporate a more aerodynamic front and distinct lines on the sides. According to Lexus, it will feature a premium interior with an intelligent 14-inch touchscreen, radiant heating, a wireless charger, and panoramic glass sunroof. One of the coolest features is the steer-by-wire or yoke racing-inspired steering wheel. That would be a lot of fun. That is an add-on option. 
The Lexus version starts at $60,000, which is actually $18,000 above the Toyota BZ4X. Rivian is in discussion with its largest shareholder and commercial partner, Amazon, to end a significant part of its 2019 electric delivery van agreement. Amazon initially invested $700 million in Rivian back in 2019 and made a sizable order of 100,000 delivery vans, which the first ones are actually on the roads as we speak, or as I speak. According to sources familiar with the matter, speaking to Wall Street Journal, the contract talks have come to Amazon, which informed Rivian that it wanted to purchase 10,000 of these vehicles in 2023, the lower end of the e-commerce giant's previous guidance. For this reason, Rivian is seeking to remove the exclusivity part of the contract, which would open up the possibility of signing new commercial customers. Now that sounds like a good thing, but could actually be a bad sign for the automaker. Many investors overlooked Rivian's over billion dollar losses, claiming that Rivian had backing from Amazon and Ford. As it turns out, Ford has actually trimmed its stake just last month to a mere 1.15% ownership. And Amazon, with its 17% ownership, has now curbed a major order that held up Rivian's reputation, at least partially. With losses expanding on every vehicle produced and its largest shareholders possibly fleeing, it could be a long road ahead for Rivian. Solar electric vehicle startup Aptera Motors has shared encouraging news as it has been awarded a grant from the California Energy Commission to the tune of $21 million. The grant comes as welcome news for Aptera as they look to reach scaled production. The commission awarded the money to Aptera in support of the project, which entails manufacturing components and vehicles in a state while lowering cumulative greenhouse gases. Now, the grant will operate as a reimbursement program, meaning Aptera must first complete eligible purchases up to $21 million with their own money, and then they will be paid back afterwards. Looking ahead, Aptera Motors is already planning to bolster solar electric vehicle production in California by moving its specialized in-wheel motor manufacturing from Europe over here to the States. With the Accelerate Aptera program, essentially a crowdfunding campaign scheduled to end this March 26th, from there we will get some final investment total from the reservation holders joining the 21 million, hopefully sliding into home base. In today's community comment found on YouTube, Lawrence Wald says, succinct and informative as always. Thank you, Lawrence. Welcome to the channel. And thanks for your comment. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.